I welcome you all to part 2 of unit 5 global issues in professional ethics in engineering. In this video we will discuss about multinational corporations, international human rights, technology transfer. So first we will see what do you mean by multinational corporations, organizations which have established business in more than one country are called a multinational corporation. The headquarters are in the home country and business is extended in many host countries. Home country is nothing but where the MNC is originated and or where it is founded and the host country is nothing but the developing countries and overpopulated countries where the MNC establishes their business. Pepsi, Pepsi and Coca-Cola are the best examples of a multinational corporation. So let me remind you the world's first multinational corporation or company. The Dutch East India Company was the first multinational corporation in the world. Multinational corporation is all about the western organizations doing business in the less economically developed, developing and war populated countries again the advantage of inexpensive labors, ability of natural resources, conducive tax atmosphere and virgin market for products like Xiaomi now which has been told as India's number one smartphone brand how they came into India and used the resources of India and now they have become the most number one selling mobile phone or smartphone brand in India. So Xiaomi is an example of MNG company whose home is China and now India is an host country. Multinational corporations in India to name a few IBM whose headquarters is in New York, USA, Microsoft whose headquarters is in Washington, USA, Nokia Corporation headquarters in Finland, PepsiCo headquarters in New York, USA, Reebok International Limited headquarters in Boston, USA. Multinational corporations pros and cons. Now let us see the pros of a multinational corporation. The developing countries are benefited by fresh job opportunities jobs with higher remuneration and challenges, transfer of technology and several social benefits by wealth development. Cons Loss of job for the home country and loss or exploitation of natural resources. Political instability for the host country are some of the threats of globalization and MNCs. Now we are going to see about a topic which is called as international human rights. Now a topic called it MNZ multinational corporation is followed by international human rights. To know, to know what are the moral responsibilities and obligations of multinational corporations operating in the host countries, let us know what is IHRL. IHRL is nothing but international human rights law is the body of international law designed to promote human rights on social, regional and domestic levels. So what are all the common minimal rights to be followed by the MNZ in host countries to smoothen the transactions when engineers and employees of MNZs have to interact at official, social, economic and sometimes political levels. So we are going to see the minimum rights that should be followed by the MNGs in regard to the employees or the engineers employed. At international level, the organizations are expected to adopt minimum level of a value such as mutual respect or mutual support, loyalty and reciprocity. B the negative, the negative duty of refraining from harmful actions such as violence and fraud. C. Basic fairness and practical justice in case of conflicts. So here from the above points, above three points, you understand that whatever, whomever it may be, whomever the employee may be, maybe it is a home country employee or the host, company, host country employee, he should be treated in an equal method and nothing should be, nothing should harm him 
always everyone should be seen equal so that is what the human interna international human rights tell at an international level for the mngs so the mngs are generally an international organization so they should be following all these kinds of rules Int now we are going to see the 10 international rights to be taken care of in context are right of freedom of physical movement of people right of ownership of properties freedom from torture right to trial on, on the products freedom from discrimination on the basis of race or sex if such discrimination against women or minorities is prevalent in the host country the MNG will be compelled to accept MNGs may opt to quit that country if the human rights violations are severe physical security use of safety gadgets have to be supplied to the worker even if the laws of the host country do not suggest such measures safety of freedom of speech and forming association right to have minimum education right to political participation right to live and exist all the above 10 points in all the above 10 points indicates that respect should should be given to the individual employed by all societies now we'll move on to the topic called as technology transfer now what do you mean by technology transfer technology transfer is nothing but it is a process of moving technology to a new setting and implementing it there technology includes hardware machines and hardware machines and installation and techniques technical organizational and managerial skills and procedures so technology is divided into two parts one is hardware and techniques hardware is nothing but the machines and techniques is nothing but the technical organization and managerial skills and procedures so something we just learned from japan like we tell that six sigma has been formed by toyota company so toyota is a japanese based company and from japanese based company we are just learning the six sigma and like 3d printer or laser cutting machine which is an other country's technology now we are just having it in india or in our developing countries so this includes hardware and techniques it may mean moving the technology application from laboratory to the field or factory or from one country to another. This transfer is affected or supported by governments, organizations, universities and multinational corporations. Now you have seen about what is trans technology transfer. Now what is appropriate technology transfer? So like in a country like India or it is a developing country you cannot bring in a highly sophisticated rd or bugatti car and you can just drive it here am i right so for an example i'm just telling you cannot bring like uh, like michael shoemaker has gifted an f1 formula car to sachin elkar will sachin elkar be able to drive that formula car in mumbai roads no appropriately not he will not be able to drive the car in mumbai roads because it is not made or it is not manufactured in such a way that it can be drove in the Mumbai roads so that is called as appropriateness am I right now I have just told you in this example of car now we'll just tell you in a technology if some technology is being imported from China to India it should be brought on the basis that will it be an appropriate technology for India or will it be used by India or is there any point or is there any appropriateness to bring that technology to India so now we'll see identification transfer and implementation of most suitable technology for setting for set of new situations is called as appropriate technology so if you're going to import any technology or bring in any kind of technology from another country to india you should first analyze will it be able to implement in india so like we have brought the metro train metro train which was first initially first established in London right so and now we have a metro train setup so it may be an appropriate technology but I don't see how far hyperloop is an appropriate technology for India so 
now we'll see factors influencing modification or selection of appropriate and appropriateness of technology economic social and engineering constraints are the causes for the modification of technology depending on the availability of resources physical conditions such as temperature humidity salinity geographical location isolated land area and availability of water capital opportunity cost and human value system which includes their traditions beliefs and region religion the appropriate technology is to be determined so the second point tells the region and its surrounding and its environment is also being a part of or being in an uh, is a being is a deciding factor for bringing in an appropriate technology or deciding is that technology appropriate for our terrain or our our own country example of an appropriate technology india choosing metro rail connectivity to reduce con- conjunctions occurring due to high population which is an example of appropriate technology which india got through globalization the appropriate technology was chosen considering the factors such population reduction such pollution reduction population no the first thing but the the below image or revolved is telling that in london the first metro train was been metro train system was available so world's oldest metro train system was available in london and uh, the above example is nothing but india is going towards uh, in all the metropolitan cities it is going towards the metro rail connectivity so to reduce the pollution and to re- reduce the vehicle congestion so it is going to an metro train technology so this is the example of an appropriate technology mnzs and moralities now what is the concept of mnzs and morality like we just told you in the international human rights what did the international human rights tell us the international human rights tell told us when mng is set up in a host country what are all the rules and regulations that it should follow and what are all the rights it should be giving to the host country employees or an engineers now in mngs and morality let us see what it tells the economic and environmental condition of the home and host countries may vary but multinational institutions have to adopt appropriate measure do not disturb or dislocate the social and living conditions and cultures of the host country so now i just to, we just started with mng and morality so morality is something that which differs from place to place india has a moral higher moral value am i not am i am i right so india has a more higher moral value when an us company is coming into india they will not be having the idea of what is our own morality right so when they are going to set up an office setup or a factory setup or industry setup they should be have they should be having a moral that it should not disturb the environment it should not disturb the uh, living people people living around the around in, people living in that particular place and in that having in that particular having in that mind the mnc should construct any kind of factory or any kind of social interaction godowns or any any workspace now a few principles are enlisted here what is what are all the moral issues or what are all the morality that an mnc should follow mnc should respect the basic human rights of the people of the host country the activities of mnc should give economic and transfer technical benefits and implement welfare measures of the workers of the host country the business practices of multinational organization should improve and promote morally justified institution in host countries the multinationals must respect the law and political setup besides culture and promote the cultures of host country the multinational corporation should provide a fair remuneration to the employees of the host country if the remuneration is high as that of home country this may create tensions and if it is too low it will lead to the exploitation multinational institutions should provide necessary safety 
for the workers when they are engaged engaged in hazardous activities and informed consent that should be obtained from them adequate compensation should be paid to them for additional risks undertaken so from all the above six points what do you understand so there is something called morality or something which we follow as moral urge people through our moral values okay right the same thing the mngs are to judge themselves and they have they are they should be fair and well enough to the employees of the host country in every action of the mngs the host country should be benefited and the host country should not be ruined this is what all the relationship about mngs and morality is morality is all about thank you for thank you for watching video coming up next environmental ethics computer ethics weapons development